Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about Sinister Six. Since they are supposed to be the key villains in the upcoming Spider-Man No Way Home, the Sinister Six are a group of famous supervillains appearing in Spider-Man comic books. They made their comic book debut in January 1964, with the original team being led by Dr. Octopus and consisted of members like Electro, Vulture, Mysterio, Sandman, and Kraven the Hunter. In later appearances, this lineup has varied with the likes of Shocker and Scorpion taking spaces on the team in certain stories, and both of them have already been introduced in the MCU. So let's now discuss, how dangerous are they? But before we get started don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon, so that you will never miss an upcoming update. And with that out of the way, let's get started with the video. The leader of Sinister Six is Dr. Octopus, who is widely regarded as one of Spider-Man's greatest villains. Dr. Octopus is the founding member of the Sinister Six, and an intimidating opponent in his own right. Otto Octavius is a genius in the field of atomic physics, and he holds a PhD in nuclear science. A brilliant engineer and inventor, he is also a superb strategist and a charismatic leader. His genius in radiation is so exceptional that he was once called upon by Mr. Fantastic of the Fantastic Four to offer his help. Due to exposure to atomic radiation, Dr. Octopus has acquired the mental ability of psychokinetic control over the four electrically powered, titanium steel artificial tentacle arms that are attached to a stainless steel harness encompassing his lower torso. Each of these four arms is capable of lifting several tons, provided that at least one arm is used to support his body. The reaction time and agility of his mechanical appendages are enhanced far beyond the range attainable for normal humans. The arms allow Octavius to move rapidly over any terrain and to scale vertical surfaces and ceilings. He has developed his concentration and control to the point that he can engage a single opponent, like Spider-Man, or multiple opponents with the arms while performing a completely separate, more delicate task, such as stirring coffee or constructing a machine. The second member of Sinister Six is Electro, his real name being Max Dillon. An unusually configured magnetic field was created when Max Dillon was struck by lightning while holding high-tension wires, granting him superhuman powers. Electro can generate massive quantities of electricity, theoretically up to approximately 1 million volts. He can employ this electrostatic energy as lightning arcs from his fingertips, and his maximum charge is more than enough to kill a normal human. When his body is charged to high levels, he becomes superhumanly strong and fast. He can also glide over power lines by using the electricity contained therein for propulsion, and he has on occasion been shown to actually ride on lightning bolts. During a stint in prison, Dr. Octopus gave him the idea of ionizing metals and sparking the petroleum in the fuel tanks of vehicles as a way to generate explosions. He can also charge himself up to make himself more powerful. He can also absorb the energy of electrical equipment such as a power plant to further increase his powers. The third member of the Sinister Six is Vulture, and we already saw him in Spider-Man Homecoming. Adrian Toomes is a brilliant but maniacal electronics engineer who designed a suit that allows him to fly at great speeds. After turning to a life of crime, he became a recurring enemy of the Spider-Man and a founding member of the supervillain team, the Sinister Six. Utilizing his vulture harness, Adrian Toomes is able to fly. He wears a costume of synthetic stretch fabric, housing a tailored electromagnetic harness with artificial bird-like wings attached beneath the arms. This consists of an electromagnetic anti-graviton generator worn on his body like a harness, enabling him to fly silently with precise maneuverability. The vulture harness also increases his resistance to injury to the point that he can survive blows from Spider-Man's enhanced strength. Another byproduct of his exposure to the harness is that Despite his age and lack of exercise, Toom's physical strength represents the upper limits of human development. When he removes the harness, some of his enhanced abilities slowly fade, although the rate at which this transpires remains unclear. Toom's is relatively old and thus depends on his electromagnetic harness to augment his strength, vitality, and athletic prowess, as well as absorbing life force to maintain his vitality. The fourth member of Sinister Six is Mysterio himself, and we have already seen him fighting Spider-Man in the movie Far From Home. In the MCU, we have already seen that Mysterio does not possess any superhuman abilities, he is a former special effects artist, illusionist, an actor who uses his talents to commit crimes. Mysterio's real name is Quentin Beck in the comics as well as in the MCU. Quentin Beck does not possess superhuman abilities, but he is an expert designer of special effects devices and stage illusions, a master hypnotist and magician, and an amateur chemist and roboticist. He has extensive knowledge of hand-to-hand -hand combat techniques learned as a stuntman, allowing him to engage in combat with Spider-Man. Despite his foe's superior physical abilities and using his skills at misdirection as a further method of self-defense, but he does have some incredible equipment. Mysterio's suit includes many devices to aid him, 
His helmet is made of one-way plexiglass, meaning he can see out but no one can see in. The helmet also includes an air supply to protect him from his own gases, sonar to navigate within his mist cloak, and a holographic projector to create 3D illusions. His boots contain magnetic coil springs which allow him impressive leaps as well as the ability to cling to surfaces. Mysterio's costume contains nozzles in the boots and wrists that can release a constant stream of smoke that shields his movements. He can mix other chemicals into this smoke screen for various effects, including a gas that dulls and inhibits Spider-Man's spider sense, a gas that causes paralysis for 30 minutes, hypnogens that make those around him more susceptible to his will, and hallucinogens to cause vivid hallucinations. Moving on to the fifth member of Sinister Six, we have Sandman. Sandman's real name is William Baker. After a troubled childhood set him on the wrong path in life, William Baker was then granted superhuman abilities after coming into contact with radioactive sand. This accident gave him the ability to change himself into the sand, and thus he came to be known as Sandman. He started out as a recurring adversary to the superhero Spider-Man, but has been slowly redeemed over time, eventually becoming an anti-hero. Over the years, the Sandman has also been an enemy of the Fantastic Four. The Sandman has the ability to transform his body at his will. His body can, can be hardened, compacted, dispersed or shaped, or a combination of those qualities. He can also perform earth manipulation of sand and rock particles. In combat, this ability enables him to absorb most blows with little to no ill effect, other than reforming himself. Sandman can mold his arms and hands into shapes, such as a mace or a sledgehammer, to battle his enemies. His mass, strength, and shape-shifting ability correspond to the number of sand and rock particles that comprise him. The more he incorporates sand grains and rock granules into his body, the more those qualities are enhanced. Even though he controls every particle in his body, his mind exists in the astral plane. He can turn himself into a sandstorm, which enables him to fly great distances and to suffocate his enemies. The sixth member of Sinister Six is Craven the Hunter. Craven is a renowned big game hunter who aims to kill Spider-Man to prove himself as the world's greatest hunter, but maintains a code of honor and justice, treating his adversaries as equals. He is also the half-brother of the chameleon. Craven has appeared in numerous Spider-Man adaptations, including animated series and video games. He is widely regarded as one of the most formidable enemies among his rogues. Talking about Craven's powers, he has numerous powers. By regularly ingesting the potion made from various unnamed jungle herbs, Craven grants himself superhuman physical abilities, making him a physical threat to Spider-Man. These powers are not as developed as those possessed by Spider-Man. Craven's body is also more durable and more resistant to certain forms of injury than the body of a normal human. He can withstand great impact forces, such as falling from several stories or being repeatedly struck by a superhumanly strong opponent, powerful enough to kill normal humans many times over. The effects of the potion have also dramatically altered Craven's aging process to the point that he has aged little if at all, over several decades. Despite being over 70 years of age, he has the physical appearance of a 30-year-old man. The potion enhances Craven's sight, hearing, and smell to superhuman levels, adding to his already impressive tracking skills. He can see farther, and with much greater clarity, than a normal human. His hearing is similarly enhanced, enabling him to detect sounds which an ordinary human cannot. Craven can use his sense of smell to track a target by scent, much as some animals do. Now as impressive as these superpowers are, even without his superhuman powers. Craven is an Olympic-level athlete and a gifted tactician, hunter, and hand-to-hand -hand combatant. He also has great knowledge of pressure points, both in the anatomy of humans and in many animals. He can strike at these nerve clusters with pinpoint accuracy, allowing him to incapacitate more powerful opponents or animals. He is familiar with many exotic poisons and tranquilizers, which he often uses during his hunts. And with that, we will bring this video to an end. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.